I have really exciting news today. We're launching DS500, which is a new program from Pragmatic AI Labs. And the idea here is that we're going to collect our two master's degrees worth of content and growing, uh, and we're going to package it up so that anybody in the whole world can get access to it. So we're democratizing this information. A way to think about this would be we're unbundling the content from these educational institutions. So a little bit about my background. I'm currently an adjunct at multiple universities, including Duke, also UC Davis. And I've taught at the graduate level for close to about 10 years now, UC Davis, Berkeley, Duke, Northwestern, UNC. And what I've really learned from those programs is there is a need for this concept of lifelong learning. And the university system, for the most part, although there's some exceptions, and I'll talk about that in a second, have really not been at the forefront of, of lifelong learning. So this is really the idea here is that we're focused on collecting professors, collecting experts, putting all that knowledge together. And there's a freemium model here. So first, anybody can take these courses for free on edX. If you want to go to uh, edX.org slash school slash AI, you'll see all of the courses that we have here. But I also am building a community on Discord, a mailing list so that we can collect feedback from students and help them succeed. So let's talk a little bit now about some of the stuff that we have on DS500. So if we scroll down here, you can see that currently we have four. There's going to be actually a couple more programs launching. We have LLM operations. So we talk about how to actually use large language models in production, uh, how to actually use them locally, how to think about the ethics, which is a huge topic that I'm interested in. Uh, also about uh, the local open source ecosystem around this. There uh, are several courses there. We also have Rust programming. So uh, Rust, in my opinion, is one of the top skills that uh, somebody should learn if they're a programmer in the coming years. And we have five amazing courses in Rust. We also have a very, very popular machine learning operations course where we talk about DevOps, continuous integration, optimization, simulations. We talk about really all the theory, but we also get into the practice. And there's some very popular courses, including uh, DevOps, Data Ops, and MLOps, and also Python Essentials for MLOps. We also get into some of the platforms as well. So SageMaker and also Azure ML Studio. Then we also talk about the, the generative AI fundamentals. So there's a lot of hype with generative AI, and we try to make it more uh, of a straightforward uh, you know, analysis of what it is, like what are the strengths of generative AI, what are the weaknesses, what are some things that you can do with it. The other two programs that we have launching that should be here any day now are we have an eight course program in cloud computing. So one of the largest cloud computing programs ever created to my knowledge. We also have a very large data engineering program as well. So all that's gonna come together on the DS500 uh, institution page. We also have multiple experts that we're partnered with that are developing courses as well. And we have a transparent way that we deal with authors where we equally uh, participate in profit sharing with these professors and experts. And so we you know, really look for them uh, and, and uh, also mentor them and also you know, really help them build an audience on their own. And they have all of the intellectual property for the content that they create for us. So we're really a little bit more of like a co-op model versus a you know, hyper growth company. We're, we're in this for the long haul. Now let's also talk about some of the other things that you'll see, you know, who are the, the founders of this. We have uh, myself, Noah Gift. You can see that I've been in the field for about 30 years. I've had a lot of different experiences from working in industry to working as a professor to also working at startups and founding companies. And we also have Alfredo Deza, former Olympic athlete, also adjunct, also lots of experience in this particular field. So these are the experts behind this. And I also want to talk uh, for a second about these uh, opportunities and also the challenges in the online learning space. So I'll, uh, for a second here, just kind of shift over to talking to the camera. If we think about you know, what are the challenges? So let's first address some of the challenges in the online learning space and also education space. You know, part of it is that the university system is really built on a medieval model. Like there's not that many institutions that have survived from the medieval age, you know, era. We have uh, universities, we have uh, churches, monarchy, you know, is another one. But if we, if we think about it, there's a lot to like about the university system, but there are some things that need to be changed potentially in the era that we're at now. So one of them is that's a challenge is 
how do students get access to material before they get a degree? And then how do they get access after? And then also, how do you have a price tiering structure? So there's some people that want high touch, they want the premium experience, but there isn't really as much opportunity in you know people that are price sensitive uh, at the same time. So we have this really the challenge of, you know, people want you know, essentially continuous access to this material and also the cost structure is not always the right fit and that's really where i see the opportunity with what we're doing with ds500 now i will say that i was pleasantly surprised that yesterday i got an email from my uh, alma mater uc davis which i'm associated with still and they actually are doing this which is a really cool program they have an alumni uh, program where they're giving students uh, a bundle where they can actually engage with edX. So what's kind of cool is that you know, even though these things have been developed independently, uh, UC Davis GSM students can actually get access to these two master's degrees worth of content on edX by partnering with the UC Davis alumni program. So I think this is going to be one of the things that innovative universities like UC Davis are doing is that they're they're seeing that one of the things that they can do is they already have this amazing alumni network. Why don't they actually, you know, reach out to the alumni ex network and, and give them more resources so they can continue this lifelong learning journey? So I think that's a really good example of a university doing something that's very very innovative. Now another challenge I think that we're seeing in uh, lifelong learning is that the structure is not necessarily the structure for uh, rapid innovation, right? We, we, we see that universities are very rigid. Now, there's a lot of good things about that, right? There's accreditation, uh, you know, there's a process, there's grades, there's all these things. But where we see this potentially becoming a problem is how can a university work at the scale of industry? And I think if you look at industry partners, for example, that are creating content on platforms like edX or Coursera, they can produce content at, let's say, 100 times the rate of a university. It's often the case that a university will maybe create one course on Coursera or two courses in a year. And it's just not really what they're, they're best at, it, it is creating content at scale. And that's where I think we also, Pragmatic AI Labs comes into play, is that we can create content at scale and I, I think that's one of the opportunities that we see is that we want to reach out to people that have finished a master's degree or maybe are about to start a master's degree and give them that elite level master's degree material. Uh, and, and again, a audit model. So you don't have to pay for the material. But if you want to go further, get assessments, get a cert certificate, you can actually pay for that experience. So there are some really interesting challenges that we're going to address from our launch of DS500. This is just the beginning. You can obviously join our journey. You can you can go to the ds500.paiml.com uh, page and, and uh, participate with some of the courses. You can join the newsletter. You can also join Discord. But uh, I just want to let everyone know that we're in this for the long haul. This is really day one, right? We, we feel like we're, we're just getting started on this journey. And we also believe in what we preach. We preach Kaizen or continuous improvement. And so every single day we look at what we can improve. We make small incremental changes, look at the data and actually keep iterating. So uh, I'm really excited to launch this. Uh, it's been essentially eight years in the making to get to this point. And I'm really optimistic about the value that we can add to society by our launch of DS500. And I hope to see you uh, in one of our courses pretty soon.